quick video for the heavyweight boxing fans. I switched over from watching the Sky coverage. Uh, I switched over to watch a bit of Box Nation on the build-up for Chigaya versus Lucas Brown. And I saw a two-round heavyweight fight just now between Edmund Gerber, who strangely enough seems to have changed his name from Edmund Gerber to Vlad Gerber, um, versus Brian Minto. Now, Gerber used to be known as a, a heavyweight prospect going in the right direction, actually. He was, I think he was used to be with the Sourlands. He was extremely hyped by them. Um, I saw him fight on a few undercards. and he, he was viewed as a heavyweight going in the right direction and a, a useful prospect. Um, he got badly exposed by Michael Sprott in a fight that he won, um, where Sprott was TKO'd under controversial circumstances. And, and Sprott then won a close rematch on points, possibly by a majority decision, if I remember correctly. Uh, Gerber then fought Derek Chisora in what I personally believe to be Derek Chisora's best performance of his career. And Chisora really outstrengthed him and hit him to the body. And, you know, I, I looked at this fight and I know Minto's in his 40s. I know he's a tiny, tiny heavyweight who's really a cruiserweight with a bit of fat on him. Uh, you know, uh, but I thought that Minto would potentially give Gerber a bit to think about. Just because I thought Gerber was... Uh, Quite an overrated fighter. But I must say, I was actually really impressed by Gerber in this two-round job. Um, I was surprised. I know Minto's a small guy, but I was surprised how much bigger Gerber was. He's actually a big guy, Gerber. I don't know if he's 6'4", 6'5", you know, 17, 18 stone. But he must be something like those dimensions. And you know, he was boxing quite nicely. And his punches, they did look legitimately heavy-handed. You know, they really did look legitimately powerful. Um... Obviously, it's against an opponent at a certain level. But having looked at his box track, um, Brian Minto is arguably one of the biggest, if not the best win of Edmund Gerber's career to date. Uh, you know, he was jabbing well. He was actually jabbing with um, decent speed. You know, he was flicking the jab out quite nicely. I thought his timing was good. Minto was uh, swinging quite wildly. And... Uh, you know, Gerber was able to catch him, uh, you know, flick a jab out, and I don't want to use the word counter punch because that's probably overstating it, but yeah, catching him fairly nicely. Uh, and it was a real improved performance from Gerber. There was actually a surprising amount of hand speed when he was throwing the jab for a big guy. He was by far the faster operator in there, and he looked heavy handed. You know, I, I, I guess he, what I'm saying is he's a fighter I wrote off who actually impressed me tonight. Let's put it this way his victory over um, Brian Minto tonight was. For my money, a better victory than Liam White's victory over Brian Minto. It was, it was more clinical for me. Um, you know, the punching power was there, the boxing was there, the jab was there, the speed was there. Uh, don't get me wrong, it's not the second coming of Mohamed Ali or anything. He's got losses to Chisora and Sprott, which probably tells you he's not destined for the top. But I'm prepared to give Gerber one more chance after this. And I think he re-enters the conversation of the heavyweight top 50 after this win. Yeah, Gerber's a guy who's fought British opponents before, Sprott twice, travelled to the UK to fight um, uh, Derek Chisora. So I wouldn't be at all surprised if Gerber got a fight against a um, British opponent. You know, you've got David Price on the comeback trail uh, with the Sourlands. Uh, obviously, you've got uh, Dillian White, who's going to be returning from injury. Maybe a guy like Huey Fury. You know, Gerber is a good fight for... Any one of those names for me. Uh, don't get me wrong, you'd, you'd pick Gerber to lose, but potentially he's a guy to throw back into the mix. And on today's performance, um, don't get me wrong, he, as I say, he is beatable, but on today's performance, you'd have to be on form to beat him anyway. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. Did you see the fight? Um, were you impressed? Did you see improvements? I appreciate that Gerber versus Minto is not a fight that's... Uh, you know, going to break down the internet and get me a million views here. But uh, for fans of heavyweight boxing, I thought it was a semi-relevant fight. As I say, it puts Gerber back in that top 50 conversation for me. Let me know your thoughts. If you've enjoyed this, hit the thumbs up button. Hope you enjoy the boxing.